Welcome back to Soil Doctor, where we uncover time-tested gardening wisdom that modern science is only beginning to understand. Today, we're diving into one of the most valuable soil amendments used in Amish farming communities for generations, an ingredient so powerful it can transform lifeless dirt into rich, fertile ground, teeming with beneficial microbes and nutrients. If you're battling with compacted, nutrient-poor soil that refuses to support healthy plant growth, this age-old Amish solution might be exactly what your garden needs. The Secret Ingredient Wood Ash That's right, the humble wood ash, a byproduct of wood-burning stoves that heat Amish homes throughout winter, has been their secret weapon for revitalizing depleted soil for centuries. While modern gardeners often reach for commercial fertilizers and amendments, the Amish have long understood the remarkable soil-healing properties of this simple ingredient that many of us dispose of without a second thought. Wood ash contains a rich concentration of potassium, calcium, and other trace minerals that plants crave. These minerals exist in a form that's readily available to your plants, unlike many slow-release commercial amendments. But what truly makes wood ash exceptional for dead soil is its alkaline nature, with a pH typically between 9 and 13. This makes it perfect for neutralizing acidic soil, a common issue in many regions and often the underlying reason your soil seems dead. When soil becomes too acidic, beneficial microorganisms struggle to survive, nutrient availability plummets, and your plants suffer. The calcium carbonate in wood ash works similar to agricultural lime, but with additional micronutrients thrown in as a bonus. This immediately begins to neutralize soil acidity, creating a more hospitable environment where soil life can flourish again. The Amish don't simply dump ash everywhere, they're methodical and respectful of the land. They traditionally spread wood ash in late winter or early spring, allowing winter precipitation to help incorporate it before planting season begins. For severely depleted soil, Amish farmers typically apply a thin layer of approximately one quarter inch across the garden surface, which translates to about 5 to 10 pounds per 100 square feet. What's particularly noteworthy about the Amish approach is their patience. They understand that soil improvement is not an overnight process, but rather a commitment to gradual enhancement over several seasons. They'll apply modest amounts annually, rather than overwhelming the soil with a massive one-time application, which can disrupt the delicate soil ecosystem. How to source and apply wood ash properly. If you heat with wood, you already have access to this garden gold. However, it's crucial to use only clean hardwood ash. Never use ash from pressure-treated lumber, painted wood, or charcoal briquettes, which contain chemicals harmful to your soil and plants. The whitish-gray ash from your fireplace or wood stove is what you're after. Before applying, let the ash cool completely for at least four days. Store it in a metal container with a tight lid to preserve its potency. When you're ready to apply, Choose a windless day to prevent the ash from blowing around. Gently rake the ash into the top 2 to 3 inches of soil. If you're working in raised beds or preparing soil for sensitive plants, incorporate the ash at least 2 to 3 weeks before planting to allow it to integrate with the soil properly. What to expect? Within weeks of application you'll notice your soil becoming more friable and workable. Earthworms and other beneficial organisms will return as the soil pH balances out. Within a growing season, plants will show improved vigor, stronger stems, and more vibrant foliage. Vegetables grown in ash-amended soil often develop enhanced flavor profiles, something the Amish have long appreciated in their farm-to-table practices. Remember that wood ash is not appropriate for acid-loving plants like blueberries, rhododendrons, or azaleas. It's best used in vegetable gardens, particularly for crops that prefer slightly alkaline conditions like asparagus, garlic, and brassicas. If you've been searching for an organic, sustainable way to bring your garden soil back to life, this centuries-old Amish practice might be the simple solution you've been looking for. It's readily available, costs nothing if you heat with wood, and delivers remarkable results when used properly. Don't forget to subscribe to Soil Doctor for more traditional gardening wisdom that stands the test of time. Share this video with a friend whose garden could use some revitalization. And let us know in the comments if you've used wood ash in your garden and what results you've seen. Until next time, happy growing!